I should turn this way. Mm -hmm. That'll work. Hey, Cynthia, welcome. How are you doing today? Hi, Amber. How are you? Welcome. I am well. I am well. I'll give you all one guess what room of my house I'm in where we're looking at this picture. Any guesses? Living room. Good guess. But no. Bedroom is another good guess. We'll just work our way through all the rooms, right? Actually, we are in the bathroom. True story. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, first of all, I should, I should introduce myself. I'm Erica Johns from, well, you know what? Here, you'll get a kick out of this. <laughs> See, I had to stand in the shower so that I could, um, get far enough away from this picture. But hey you guys, I'm Erica Johns from enrichmentstudies.com and today we're doing Home is Where the Art Is and um, yeah, don't slip, it's not wet. Um, after that quick hi, I just wanna show you a couple of different pieces from around the house today. And you know, one of my purposes with my Home is Where the Art Is scopes is that I like to just point out that you there are no rules. I was going to say you can break the rules, but there are no rules. Um, I actually found this, this picture at a yard sale. I have never been able to find any more information about Franz Wagner um, or this piece. So I don't know what it's a, who it comes from or whatever, but I like it. And this lady has been on our bathroom wall for years and years, and I think she's cool. I'll give you some close-up. It's a it's a glass front, so it gets quite a bit of a glare. So I have a really hard time sometimes getting good pictures of the ones that have a glass or plexiglass front. But I love all the colors. I love the abstract. Yes, Mama Maria, welcome. We're looking at art that, believe it or not, is in my bathroom. And this is just one I had not shown yet. So, from California or Canada? <laughs> California would probably be nice and warm. Canada would not. <laughs> All right. Now, <clears throat> California. Well, lovely. I'm here in Kentucky. We have a little bit of snow that we got over the night. All right. So anyways, my next, I've got two more pieces. This is just going to be quick today because then I got to get back to school and my kids and I got one boy that's sick. But we're going to walk our way out of here to the, look at those obedient children reading. <laughs> we're going to, well, and there's one reading along with an audio book. Part in our real life here. There's another piece I wanted to show you. This one's so fun, and here's going to be a trick. Um, oh, see, we're getting glare. Can you flip off that light switch over there, babe? Maybe that will help a little bit. Okay, well, part in the glare. This is in my kitchen. I received this as a gift from my brother several years ago, and you know what? I'm going to change to this way so you can see better. This is an illustration called Pigs and Wigs by illustrator Jeff Mack. Jeff is actually a friend of my brother, my brother's, and my brother got this for me for Christmas one year. And Jeff is the illustrator for the Bonicula books and um, rub it, what's it called? Rub, what's it? Sub in a... Sub in a <sighs> I can't remember. Um, Bonicula and a bunch of other ones. He has like the friendliest, friendliest, cutest, sweetest illustrations. I just love his style. And um, so we get all these pigs dancing with these blue wigs hanging over their heads and peanut butter in the background. And I decided to put it in my kitchen. 
So, I don't know. It's not a kitcheny thing, but I guess peanut butter is. I just like it. It's cute. It's fun. All those friendly pigs dancing around. And then over here, this is the, just the final piece I'm going to show you today. Totally different from both of those. My husband got this from back in the day when he was an art major. And I think that this was somebody's project that they were getting rid of, just throwing away. And um, let you see the close up. This actually is textured. <clears throat> All of these um, letters are like, um, I don't know if the right word is embossed, but they're like pushed down into the paper. And then all around the edge, these are all raised. And I'm pretty sure in the center, this is a lot of Greek. Um, I believe it's like um, the beginning. Hebrew, or, or sorry, you think it's he You're right, it's Hebrew. I said it wrong. I think that it starts out with in the beginning was the word and the word was God. Um, so anyways, maybe, some of, maybe I have a um, Greek or Hebrew scholar here that can tell me. So it's not Greek, Isaac? Because you yeah, learned Robert, Greek. Yeah, okay, I forgot. I should have done my homework and asked my husband about that. But it's just really cool and different. And you know, you can see we just got it tacked up. We never even bothered to get it framed. But um, there it is. And really, that's it. Super short for today. Right, Hebrew is the Old Testament language. And you know, I can't remember if this is Genesis or John that this is so that would I would know the answer if I knew what it said <laughs> but um this we've had this for a long long time so really cool let's see I feel it you know what here let me, let me go over here and sit down do you like my little hanging silhouette thingy up there that little birdie turns around all the time I don't know I have shown all this other art other days but maybe some of you guys are new and would like me to to show some things if there's anything that you're seeing that you want to know more about you can let me know. This piece, I keep being too lazy to pull all the furniture out to show you, but it's like it, probably six or so. Yeah, if we have a kid, we have a couple of kitties. We've taken in two strays <laughs> over the last couple of months and it's getting to be kitty crazy around here. I keep being too lazy to pull the furniture out so you can see the full, full height of this piece, but it's probably about six or seven feet tall. My husband did that back in college long long ago I love it all right I'm gonna sit we see you <laughs> pajama pants the um, nothing's wrong with them they're the official uniform of the Johns family homeschool absolutely me too Okay, yes, camo, pizza, and polar bear pajama pants here today. So I am, I do have more art that I could show, but I feel like I'm, I think I'm done showing the, doing the home art tour. I've been doing this since January, and I feel like, I feel like I'm ready to move on to something else. So probably next week I will come up with, I don't know, something different. Maybe you guys will have an idea of something that you'd like to see on Tuesdays at noon. Um, that we can do instead of a home art tour. Um, do you have any questions about art in the home or anything else before I go on my merry way? My boys are hilarious with Shakespeare. Thank you. <laughs> that was very fun. Yeah, the other two boys are looking at me. I don't think that they know what happened. Jacob and Aiden did, a, did their Shakespeare rap for the people on Periscope last night. Oh, they, did. So, they did. They did. So... All right. Well, um, I hope that you all have a really good um, 
good school day with your kids and I'm going to go do the same. Don't you like the blinding white light from all the sun and snow outside my window? <sighs> I'm really not that pale. It's not that bad. There. All right. Uh, I'm going to go on and um, thank you. Thanks for coming. And tomorrow, oh, I know what I should tell you. Tomorrow at 3.30 Eastern Time, I'm going to be talking about dyslexia and homeschooling. Um, we've been homeschooling for 18 years, and I've got two kids with dyslexia, so we've learned a few things. And I'm not really...